Hey, what is up guys? Frostbite here, and I'm back with another episode of TDM with Every Gun series. Today's episode is going to be with the MP7 on Sea Town, and uh, the final score in this game is going to be a 30 and 2. <laughs> but yeah, I'm using Rapid Fire and Extended Mags on this class, really good setup for the MP7, and it works really well on this game, obviously. I think uh, the kill streaks were Predator Missile, Attack Helicopter, and I believe possibly Straight Front or Reaper. I'm not entirely sure which one, you have to, I'll have to find out uh, when we get to that point in the gameplay. But yeah guys, so today I want to talk a little bit about the Olympics, because I know it's like quite a big topic at the moment, and it's <laughs> quite a big thing to be honest. Um, but yeah, so pretty much like the opening ceremony to start off with, well, in my opinion I think it was pretty good, I think London did a pretty good job of the opening ceremony. Like, uh, it was kind of kind of cool, they showed a bit of England's history, or Britain history or whatever, and I don't know, I think that was really cool. Like, it was a bit, um, maybe they overdid it a little bit, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, the Rio ceremony was good as well, but I think that, uh, the, no, not sorry, not Rio, uh, what was it, uh, the last 20, uh, 2008 ceremony was pretty good, but I think London did a really good job of trying to top their ceremony, and I think uh, maybe it worked, I don't know, I think maybe it was a bit better, or maybe a bit worse, I don't know, but I think overall it was a really good ceremony, opening ceremony, <laughs> I don't know, I said ceremony a lot, but yeah, I, th I think it was really good, and like they had, um, it was like the Olympic rings, like flying in, uh, over the top of the stadium which was really cool and they had all that sort of stuff so yeah I, th I think that was cool but then the actual Olympics was even better I think in my opinion uh, London was definitely a really good city to host the Olympics I think they have like a really nice area um, to make it and stuff like that and they did a really good job of making the stadiums look really good and stuff like that there was like the facilities there were really good the tracks everything oh my god I, s <laughs> I think that the Olympics overall was a really good really entertaining to watch and I'm really sad that it's going because I was kind of enjoying it. I didn't watch a lot of it to be honest. I watched like when I was like just watching TV or something. I'll put the Olympics on. I thought it was really cool. Uh, but yeah, um, speaking of the Olympics, actually, Britain did really well in the Olympics. They came third. Uh, I think China came second. Maybe Japan. I think it was China. And then uh, USA came first. Um, probably. Uh, they, I think they come first in most of the Olympics anyway. So yeah, I think they won like ridiculous, like over 50 gold medals, which was really good. But then uh, Team GB got like over 20 or 25, something like that. I'm not entirely sure how many. I didn't really t pay attention to the table or medals or whatever. But yeah, I think it was a really good ceremony. Um, not ceremony, sorry. Really good Olympics overall, for, especially for Great Britain. Because like, um, if you think, like 16 years ago, uh, England and Britain, sorry, only won one gold medal in the Olympics. And, you know, that's hardly any. I think uh, all the home support from being in their own country really did help um, our team, Team GB to get a lot of gold medals because you could you could tell you know when like someone from Great Britain came on like the cheers just went crazy like so much cheering um, and same applies for all the other big countries like uh, USA what other country um, yeah let's remember the U USA getting a lot of cheers as well I'm not entirely sure about any other countries but the, a lot of countries did get a lot of cheers which probably would help them out a lot you know to <laughs> motivate them to get the gold medals stuff like that oh as you see there the kill fleet was at AC so overwatch <laughs> sorry I thought it was like a something else but yeah so yeah, I just think that all this home support definitely did help Britain out in getting their gold medals, and they did get loads. I saw um, Jess Ennis was amazing, like, uh, she got one gold medal, I think, um, but she was coming third in her final race to, like, she didn't even have to come first, I think. So she was coming third, and then she, like, sprinted uh, the last minute and came first. And also, Mo Farah won two gold medals, which was absolutely awesome. Yeah, he was really good. And I was watching the diving the other night, and um, I think David Budia won the diving, he was from America. And yeah, he did a really good diving. I think Tom Daly won a bronze, I saw that. He came third, which was, he was still really happy about that, which is cool. I don't like seeing athletes when they win, like, a bronze medal, and they're like, like, um, was it, like, the Chinese guy and the diving, he won a silver medal, and he was, like, devastated about it, because he wanted to win gold, and Tom Daly was there, like, winning his bronze, and he was so happy, like, I, I don't know, like, if I won any kind of medal, if I ever went in the Olympics, which I'm probably not, to be honest, because um, I suck at, like, everything to do with sport, then I'll just be happy to win any kind of medal, really, even to, just to take part in it, to be honest. But yeah, like, it's just kind of annoying when an athlete isn't happy about their medal, that's pretty much what I'm trying to say there. But yeah, so like, there was a lot of other good athletes in the Olympics. Uh, Greg Rutherford, I think, Robert Field, Rutherford, something like that, won the long jump. Uh, gold, uh, the first woman to win boxing was from Britain. And like, it's, it's like, boxing hasn't actually been the Olympics since now, so it was like, first introduced, like, women's boxing, sorry, I think, did I say that? I don't know, but yeah, it hasn't actually been in the Olympics since 2012, 2012. So I think that was uh, really cool that a woman from Great Britain was the first person ever to win the women's boxing. 
And yeah, she did a really good job. She won a gold medal in that as well. And then I think someone else in the boxing, uh, in the men's boxing, won a silver medal. Or no, it was a gold, wasn't it? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I kind of get mixed up with all the medals, stuff like that. But yeah, guys, that's the end of the gameplay. The final score obviously was 30 and two, as I said. Uh, let me know in the comment section what you thought of the Olympics. Did you enjoy it? Did you not enjoy it? Do you think London did a good job of the ceremony, the stadium, that sort of stuff? Personally, I really enjoyed the Olympics and I'm sad it's going, but I'm looking forward to watching it again in uh, 2016, in four years' time. But yeah, I know it's a bit of a long way away. But whatever, I think Rio is going to do a really good job of hosting the Olympics. Hopefully, it's sound like a good host city. But yeah, so guys, let me know what you thought of the Olympics and I'll see you later. Peace out, guys.